Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll have a little message for my subscribers and any future subscribers. I want to speak to you. This is very, very urgent and very, very important. I want to speak to you about motor units because people are confused how important these motor units are for strength, power, flexibility, mobility, stability, agility, power, speed, and aging and diseases. Motor units, to me, are the pinnacle of healthy aging. They are the catalyst. They're on top of everything else. Biohackers, longevity biohackers, they absolutely keeping this from you. Why do I say this? Because no matter what you do, no matter what supplement you take, no matter what diet regimen or fasting, intermittent fasting, cold showers, rapamycin, I don't care what you take. You cannot stop the loss of motor units with any of that. For example, rapamycin allegedly is supposed to save your muscle mass. Yes, okay. Let's say it does save your muscle mass, which there is no proof. There's proof in animals that it does that. But let's say that rapamycin does save your muscle mass. What does that have to do with fast motor units? It has nothing to do with it. It doesn't stop, it doesn't help the fast motor units and the fast twitch muscle fibers. Because when you lose these, you can never get them back. Please, I, I respectfully ask to listen to this. Once in your 30s, when you're born, you're growing up, your fast motor units are increasing by the age 25. You're in tip type shape. You're 20, you feel, feel fantastic, you feel strong, perfect hair, perfect skin, 25 years old. What happens after that? Downhill. And that's because your motor units start, you're losing those fast motor units around the same age. Around 30 years old, it all begins. You don't feel this loss. It's gradual. When you reach about 60, you start slowing down. Why do you think you slow down? There is no other reason, unless you, you have a, a serious injury, but healthy aging I'm talking about. Why do you think you naturally slow down? Because you have lost fast motor units. You didn't train to maintain them. Nobody does. Nobody trains for this. Nobody even knows about this. They go to the gym, they work out, they jog a marathon, or they, 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 they swim. This doesn't do anything for fast motor units. You need to specifically train them. Nothing, nothing can... In other words, quercetin helps with fast motor, uh, fast motor units, but you still have to work out. There's nothing you can take that automatically helps fast motor units. Nothing. Only specific exercises like power training, plyometrics. And these have to be done two or three times a week for the rest of your life. Once you reach the age of 75, when you reach 60, you start slowing down. People start getting sick around the same time. They, they get heart, heart problems, eyesight problems, you name it. Uh, bone, bone problems, joint problems. Why do you think all this happens? All this stems from the loss of motor units. That's why when you're young, you don't have these problems. Look, I, I mean no disrespect to anyone. All I'm telling you is that the longevity experts are not telling you this. They're keeping it from you because they don't even know it. There is nothing you can do. There is nothing you can take. You need to slow down the loss of these motor units. By the age of 75, most 99.9% .9 of people, if they haven't trained for it, they lost 50% of their motor units. By the time you're 85, 90, you have about 10% left. Think about this for a second. You have nothing left in your muscles to make you move. That's why you have no agility. That's why you have no speed. That's why you have no, 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 no movement like a young guy. That's because you didn't train for it. And let me tell you something. Loss of motor units is not, does just not affect the muscles. Your immune system, your bone health, your cardiovascular system, your brain, it affects almost every age-related disease. It's connected. Loss of motor units, you need to train them. And let me tell you the good news. You still have some left, whatever age you are. You must save those. You must, you're not going to, you're not going to stop their loss, but you could slow their loss. When you slow their loss, what do you, I mean, let's use common sense. 
unless you have a, a genetic predisposition to just drop dead. Let's say you're just an average guy. You don't smoke. You live a healthy lifestyle. If you save, if you train these motor units, you train to keep them. This is my humble opinion. Okay? You will reach the 100-year mark with no problem, especially if you start young. Not only you will reach the 100-year mark, you will move like someone much younger. This is the mistake 99.999% of people make when they go to the gym, like even today, the 60-year-olds. Oh, I feel fantastic. I look good. Okay. Can you move like someone half your age? The answer was no. You just don't see a 60-year-old. It moves like a young guy. Yeah, they look good. But what does that mean? What it means, what this really means is that you are going to get age-related diseases. No matter what, no matter how good you live, no matter how healthy your lifestyle, because of the lost motor units, you will be on medication. I, in my opinion, again, I mean, I, can, I, I can't prove it 100%, but I believe 99% of people over 70, maybe even 65, are more than one medication. More than one. Especially pain medication, age-related medication, age-related disease medication. You are on some kind of medication. And I'm sorry. I'm just keeping it real. Okay. You call that healthy, you call that healthy living? You call that healthy lifestyle? That, that's, what, that's what they tell you. They tell you you're living a healthy lifestyle because you take the medication to keep you healthy. That's a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. You wake up in the morning, you're in pain, you got to take medication. That's a healthy lifestyle. Sure. Now, that's not a healthy lifestyle of me. I have no intention of taking medication. I have no intention of taking any drugs. And I don't take any drugs. Not TRT. None of that nonsense. I take nothing. That's why my bones are healthy. That's why I move the way I do. Look, I mean no disrespect to any of you. You do what you want to do. I'm just giving you the message because no one else is giving you. No one else is talking about this. Fast motor units. You lose them, you're never getting them back. No matter what you do, no matter how you work out, no matter... None of that. You're not getting none of that back. So all you biohackers, please, please, because what you're doing is not going to keep you young. None of that is going to keep you young unless you save your motor units. Anyway, have a great day. The reason why I get upset about this is because they're keeping it from the public. It needs to be put out there by the experts. I am working on getting experts on motor units on my channel because you're going to be shocked. You don't have to believe me. You don't have to believe me. I'm going to let them tell you that. This is serious. This is serious. You have no idea how many diseases will be demolished if somebody was to train their motor units, fast motor units, from 30 years on or 40 years on. Biohacking does not help. Supplements will not help you. Okay? Fasting will not. Fasting will even make it worse. Yeah, you'll feel good. You, you'll say in your mind, I feel good. But we'll see when you reach 80, when you, you start getting frail. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I, even if you take steroids, even, even if you take steroids, it will not bring back fast motor units. Nothing brings it back. Anyway, have a great day. Just a message I wanted to share. See you in my next video.